Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary and I recently had a birthday treated myself to a Kodak photo printer. If you're new to my channel, thanks for joining me. So I wanted to share an unboxing and it's also time to close out my Hobonichi Avec. I will be filming that back to back as a separate video, but part of closing out my January through June Avec cousin is I wanted to wanted to document the passing of my dog Fergus so um, could not close out that journal without adding some images of him and currently don't have any other color printer so this is what I decided on with my research I have narrowed it down to two different models one this Kodak mini 3 retro photo printer and the other that I was debating is the Canon Selfie QX10. Now ultimately I decided on the Kodak Mini 3 Retro for a variety of reasons and I'll timestamp everything below if you'd like to pop around. You are welcome to. The package I got from Amazon included two backup ink cartridges. The ink cartridges are easier to find than the Canon. They are, the Canon for some reason has a real stock issue and I did not want to be limited by um, number one, the proprietary cost of the Canon, which is higher than the Kodak for the same technology. Um, the packs for the Canon, I believe, come with 20 shots. These come with 30 shots. So just about every way you carve it up, the Kodak is the same technology and better value. I did purchase the white. Let's pop this open. to charge this before doing a little test run. If so, I'll pause the video. This is kind of a sticky, protective plastic. I like the retro styling of this. It looks like, if you're familiar with the old, the old Kodak brand, this is such an iconic photography brand back when I was in college. I was studying photography, used to develop my own prints, and I just really, Kodak has always been, Kodak and Nikon were sort of always my two favorite brands. So first thing I notice, it does not come with a charging brick. I'm gonna have to investigate that and see if it should have. Certainly I have plenty of USB chargers, including an outlet over there on my tower. I'm gonna to pause this, charge it up, download the app, and I'll join you when I'm actually ready to go with this thing. Are you all fans of these nest candles? I have a bit of a gripe with them and that is that they always want to tunnel. I always have to wrap foil around to have a complete wax pool edge to edge which is of course what you want with candles so I'm a little disappointed. I love the aroma but honestly I am moving towards the Pura app for all of my scents so just loaded in the office here where I'm working Two new scents, the Apotheca Sea Salt and Grapefruit and the Nest Bamboo. So I think I'll supplement here with the Nest Bamboo. I'm just going to crank up the aroma. Let me know in the comments what your favorite home scents are, but I really think that especially when I'm working either on YouTube content or when I'm writing, when I'm editing, I really feel like these like a good home scent helps me hit that flow state more efficiently. Probably psychosomatic, but hey, it works for me.
the app shows you which stage of the printing is running through the machine. So step one is yellow, step two is magenta, step three is cyan, and step four is the clear coat. point it pops out and you can compare it to the original. Does a pretty good job with color. Black dogs are hard to photograph. This is Fergus. He's uh, of course had a lot of gray on his face at this point. Let's see what else we want to print. Now this is the cartridge that came with the printer. I'm not certain how many images are in the cartridge. In a new cartridge you have 30, but I'm thinking this one is probably somewhat reduced. So you are going to notice a difference in the color and the saturation because of course what you're looking at on your screen is light passing through the colors. What you're seeing on the photograph is pigment, but I think it's telling that there's a good variety between, let's see if I can get rid of the glare, the black dog, Sean's grayish pants, and his blue t-shirt. And perfect for memory keeping. You want to film me doing an unboxing? Yeah, you want to do an unboxing? Here we go. Wait, you got to get it under the camera, but wait until I'm done. Here you go. Hold up. Wait. <laughs> the camera's not on you. <laughs> there it is. Nice. I unboxed. Oh, you already unboxed that. Let me see the frisbee. I'm sorry, the disc. See, it came in the box. <laughs> there you go. That was marvelous. Thank you for your contribution. Well, I love it. It's perfect for memory keeping. It's um, very happy with the color. I feel like this selection shows you a pretty good range of colors and varieties. You don't have to have the border as you can see in this close-up of Fergus. Um, so I'm going to play. Um, I think this is a micro perforation, so you can... It is. So you can snap this off if you prefer borderless edge-to-edge -edge printing. Super nice like so. So the pictures are printed on a weight of paper that's very much like traditional photo papers. Thin enough to use for your journal. I'm just using a little crafter's tape to apply them. I could try a little stick glue on this one just to see if... Just 
to see how the glue works. We'll have to come back and see after it dries. Just a little side note on the Daniel Boone Scout Trail, which is near Grandfather Mountain in North Carolina. There's actually a Cessna that crashed in 1978, so the trail that we were hiking went, went right next to this plane crash site. So that was sobering. Well, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. That's it for me. Next video will be swapping out my Hobonichi Cousin Avec from January, June to my July through December. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you in my next video. Ciao!